Greetings from WP25. In this video, I would like to talk about admin menu option by WP25 plugin. Inside this admin menu option, you will see three different tabs called menu editor, settings, and styles. First, I will explain the menu editor and how actually it works. Inside this menu editor, you will get a mirror copy of your each and every admin menu items inside this area. You can add a new item. For example, let's add a custom menu and the link, let's use a hash link and set a custom icon. And set the settings. Now if I reload, you can see there is a custom menu. This menu appears here. So this is how custom menu works. Now inside a menu, just click on this any specific menu item and you will see it expanded with a lot of information. Like you can rename this dashboard to anything like home. Also, you can change the link, but at present, I'm not going to change the link, but if you think it's necessary to change any specific link of your menu items, you can do it. Then I can add a custom icon, like uh, let's start with this home icon and Hidden for rules, if you think you would like to hide this dashboard for a specific user role or a specific users, you can do it too. So let's save the settings and reload. You can see it sends to home and the icon is sends to. Now to show you this hidden for rules option, I have already created a user on editor role. You can see the role is editor. Now I like to hide this post option for editor. Just selecting editor on this hidden for rules area and save the settings. Now let me log out. Editor and editor enter and you can see the post is gone from the editor dashboard panel. Let me log out again. So this is how actually this menu editor area works. But that's not the end. You can add custom submenu items and also modify the submenu items. Let me add a custom submenu on this post. Let's call it news article and no hidden for rules. Set a hash link and you can see there is a select icon option, but there is a notice called set custom icon not available for submenu because WordPress doesn't support any icon for submenu items. So let's set the settings. Now reload. If I hover on post, you can see there is a news article, whatever I have added inside this submenu item. This is how the menu editor works. Now if I navigate to settings, you can see there are some dependency to a step menu requires adminify UI module enabled from develop adminify and customize menu. So to show you this dependency, I keep my dashboard in default UI mode. If you like to use this two step accordion and toggle option, you must enable the adminify UI. Also, if you like to use horizontal menu, you have to enable the adminify UI option. There is only menu mode you can use in default UI. If I use folded and reload, you can see it's folded. If I navigate to rounded, you can see you need to enable adminify UI. So let's enable the adminify UI, then set the settings, now reload. And let's navigate to admin menu, settings, and select default and the submenu style. Let me explain the two step accordion and toggle one by one. So if I set the settings, now reload. If I click on this adminify option, you can see this effect is called two step. Whenever you click on any admin menu item, it will expand it all of its submenu in a different container. This is a two step option. Now if I navigate to settings and select accordion and set the settings, reload. Whenever you click on any item, it will be expanded its submenu as you can see, and the previous one is collapsed. 
this is how accordion works now if you prefer toggle toggle will expand everything everywhere whenever you click you can expand home and at the same time you can expand post then also paste and everything you want this is how the toggle system works let's just do with accordion and let me show you the menu mode rounder system let's set the settings now if i reload this is the rounded effect that will work on accordion and toggle properly but not on this two step option and that's all about this specific vertical menu options panel area now let me show you how actually horizontal menu looks like this is the horizontal menus option panel you can keep icon only or text only or you can keep both icon and text as a horizontal menu items let me set the settings and reload this is how the horizontal menu looks in your website dashboard from the settings you can keep only text or only icon this is the only icon and let's say only text this is only text also you can control this drop down toggle icon you can show or hide this drop down toggle icon you can see the drop down toggle icon is gone from this option area let's move back to our vertical menu options and default mode save the settings reload we have another option called styles so this option is really huge you can increase the font size of your admin window items let's say 20 pixel you can also define the line height too and set the settings now reload you can see the font size increased to 20 pixel which is too much so i would like to stick with uh, 16 line height let's call 20 letter spacing let's not use letter spacing here okay let's say it's perfect then navigate to menu width you can control this menu background width here let's input something large called 400 pixel and now if i reload you can see the difference this is 400 pixel menu width by this admin menu area i recommend you to uh, use this menu with option if you really need it otherwise i recommend you to keep it black it will be automatically fixed is menu with area now we have menu wrapper padding 15 pixel bottom let's say 20 pixel you can also use left or right and set the settings if i reload you can see the menu wrapper padding 50 pixel on top and 20 pixel on bottom then you can use sub menu wrapper padding let's say let me input something big number like 50 pixel on both you can see 50 pixel on top and 50 pixel on bottom Now let's navigate to color settings option. We have color settings for parent menu color, then sub menu color and notification color. So if you like to change the background color of this admin menu area or top bar, just select any color you want, then reload and you can see that entire admin menu bar area got its color. You can also change the menu hover background color. Let's say this one. Now reload. Now, if I hover, you can see the color is changed whatever I have set here. Then you can also define the text color, text hover, and active menu background color too. If I say active menu background will be this one. Now, if I reload, you can see this color is changed. Not only for this parent menu area, but also same applies for this sub menu area you can change the sub menu wrapper background to something like this one then sub menu hover background let's say this one and text color let's say white now save the settings reload and here you can see the changes
So that's all about the admin menu section of WP admin help plugin. I hope you got a clear idea. If you still have any question regarding this admin menu option panel by WP admin help, feel free to get in touch with us. And in the next video, we are going to talk about productivity options.